Hello, Seth here from macOS 10 screencasts.com. In this screencast, I'd like to show you Scrivener again. Well, we got a few people saying Scrivener is cool, but how exactly do I use it? And I was thinking about this uh, problem for, I think, three months now. And I really have to thank uh, the guys of Scrivener who really helped me here a bit. And uh, NG. G A L A I on Twitter. He was very, very helpful. He's an author uh, living in Switzerland. Now he's, he originally comes from Germany as well. And he helped me a lot here in collecting all the information I needed, all what's important to say in those these kind of screencasts. And so here I am, and I'd like to show you how to create your own uh, master thesis, bachelor thesis, your own documents with Scrivener. And as I said, this is a screencast series. So we will start very, very easily and very basic and then evolve to a more complex project where we will work with uh, bibliography, footnotes, we will work with proofreading, we will do almost everything and then we will create of our project a LaTeX document and that one we will be converting to a PDF file you can actually hand in to your prof professor or you to your course leader or supervisor or whatever. And I really like to start off very very easily. So let's create our project first. I have Scrivener already opened as always. I've chosen to save to my Scrivener Tutorials desktop folder and I like to name my document first. This is my master thesis proposal. I click create and then my project is being created. Let me move this to the middle of the screen so that you can see um, this document a bit easier. So first thing I want to do is I want to go to TextMate and cheat. You see here that I've set up already a text. It would be pretty awkward to write this lot of text here in the screencast. So let me just copy this text over to Scrivener. And then I copy the document title as well. And then we can go to Scrivener. Now to set this document, the easiest way is to just go here, make a double click onto the title bar and then paste it here. Hit enter to save the document. Now first thing you want to notice is this awkward thing here saying that I have this picture glitch image dot jpeg which I probably should include here. Uh, this is just a little reminder for me that I don't forget that I wa actually want to include this picture into the document. So but first of all, we need to do one uh, real important thing because when I, let's say when I, uh, on this line, when I start writing here, I start writing here and I want to enclose this in double quotes. You see that when I create the double quotes, they're actually, they are called smart quotes. And this is pretty awkward because we will use Scrivener to export a LaTeX document using multi-markdown. And multi-markdown doesn't like those smart quotes. So we need to make sure that we don't use it at all. Uh, so the first step to create your own projects is to go to the Scrivener preferences and customize your uh, Scrivener settings. So here on the general page, I'd like to use uh, PNG as RTF image format and I want to set a bibliography manager which in my case is Bibdesk. You can download this free from the Mac Tech website and the, the most current version of Bibdesk is actually included. Then let's go to the text editing page. You see that the usual format or the standard format is Optima uh, regular 13 points. And for me as a um, markdown writer, I'm not very satisfi satisfied with this setting. So let's go let's customize this font to use a more programmer-like font. 
And in Snow Leopard came a new font for programmers and this one's called Manlo. So I set it to Manlo and I rather would use uh, 13 points so I set it to 11 points here. Let me close this window now. And yeah, this was it for the font. So let's see what else we have here. Use block insertion point and this one's pretty good. Capitalize first letter of sentences. This can be useful, but only in script text attributes. Oh, uh, this one should be set on here. Capitalize le first letter of sentences. This is mo it's, this is useful in most cases. So I let it uh, let it turned on here. In the typography section, I deactivate the typographers quotes, which are actually these smart quotes that, that I was speaking earlier about. And I want to don't want to replace the double hyphens with em dash, and also I don't want any smart symbols or three periods as well. So this was it for the setup. We are actually now able to start writing in our document. Let me just quickly delete this one line here because it was just rubbish what I wrote here. Now you see that we have set Menlo as our standard format in the preferences but our document isn't using it so we need to make sure that we are now using the standard document format to do that we go to the uh, documents menu here from here we select convert and here we set the default text style and then we are warned that this action cannot be undone and we are totally aware of that so let me just answer this question with OK and you see now that we have a more, much more convenient display here of uh, the, the page. So the next thing you might notice here is this picture here and this is crying at me so loud that we actually have to replace this one right now. Let me go to the finder here and you see that in our proposal folder where our Scrivener document is that I have created a pix folder and here is this image. This is just an image showing, showing a glitch and we need to go to that folder like you would do in the terminal. So to do, refer to that document and let me just move this window here so that you can see both objects actually on the screen and this one here is when we start in our master projects Scrivener document it is pix slash glitch minus image dot jpeg and as I said earlier this capitalized first letter of the sentence is in most cases useful but not in this case because um, multi markdown is actually case sensitive. In order to refer to a picture you will use the following format um, in the square brackets you could you can put uh, a name of your picture this would will never be shown on the document itself and in the parentheses you put the path to your picture and you can provide a press description for that picture as well uh, picture showing a graphical glitch and this was it for the picture we now have a picture in our document you won't come believe me right now but it becomes much better when we set our document and it is right now time to actually set our document so let us go to the file menu from here we select compile draft and in order to make sure that we include the file in the document as a section we will enable here titles for our files from the export format